Good morning, welcome to Going to Ground from the glorious Marlborough Downs in Wiltshire with me, Andrew Rumsey, and my faithful hound, Effie, uh, who is um, busily rooting up cabbage stumps from this field uh, where she also always likes to stop. She loves her greens, Effie, um, and uh, is getting at least one of her five a day uh, in the field here and won't really move very readily. So I'll take the opportunity to check in with you and it's good to be with you as we make our way through Advent. And it's a world transformed this morning with the frost crystallising everything moist and uh, transforming uh, ordinary things into a spectacular landscape. I love the winter for that reason. It's, uh, it, it changes the face of the earth and uh, makes things mysterious and, and glorious. Well, it's... Um, it's been a busy week for me, and uh, I wonder what you're doing to to mark the stages of Advent, maybe opening a calendar or burning off a bit of an Advent candle each day. Uh, here in Wiltshire, my wife's organising something called the Devises Adventure in, uh, in that town, which is um, something, a project that she ran in our last parish, which is a, 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 a kind of living Advent calendar every night during... December up until Christmas Eve uh, for just one hour in the evening between five and six or six and seven a small space is opened up to reveal something of the Christmas story might be uh, a little tableau or it might be an art installation or just singing carols or um, uh, having mulled wine and mince pies or a combination of those things and it's a way to open up the Christmas story uh, to our communities and uh, it's, a, it's a glorious thing in Oxted where we used to live we made it a, an adventure as in the sense of a trail not just it being in advent like a nativity journey that the holy family took and we went around the community and maybe one night in a uh, the, the porch of the local school or um, in a garage or a bus stop or a small space um, a kind of manger-esque uh, space where we did something creative around the Christmas theme. And surprisingly, although it's 24 events and quite an undertaking, it's actually quite easy to do because each group, one, one group or one family organises one night and they just have to do one thing for just an hour. Um, so as long as it's the team communication's good, it, it, it's, it's possible to do it. And, uh, and it was a a beautiful way actually of, of growing community and telling the story as we know the the Christian story and the knowledge and awareness of, of the Christmas and broader Christian story is receding from our culture as the census results have recently uh, confirmed to us so this is one of those great festive occasions when when we can do something to uh, to retell it and have some fun at the same time so that's the Devises adventure and here on the um, Village Green in Devizes by the Crammer, which is the, the name for the pond, uh, the famous Moonraker Pond in Devizes. I'll tell you that tale if you don't know it um, another time. They've hired uh, a shipping container, so it's just one space for every night in, in Advent, and it's a, the ideal, ideal place for it because it's just the right size to hold a small group of musicians or a little play. And uh, so if you're in Wiltshire, go along and have, check it out. Or do something similar in your community next year. It's a it's a fabulous thing. And on the last night, on Christmas Eve, usually uh, we ended up in the porch of the church and did something special there. So uh, ideas for Advent. And I've got to shift this dog. Come on, Effie. We've got to get home as the day's work needs to begin. So I'll see you soon, friends. God bless you as you go to ground. <laughs>